नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स इफ समबडी टेल्स यू इन रेडियो मिर्च यू आर गेटिंग वंडरफुल प्रोग्राम्स एंड लॉट ऑफ एंटरटेनमेंट लॉट ऑफ फन एंड ऑल दैट सो वट यू हाउ डू यू गो अबाउट यू नो फाइंडिंग इट आउट सो यू से ओके टेल मी वॉट इज दैट दैट वॉट हेड्स आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दिस रेडियो मिर्च नाइंटी एट पॉइंट थ्री हेड्स So all that you have to do is take a transistor and go to ninety-eight point three. Maybe until you set it rightly, until you fine-tune it, you will get. If you don't fine-tune it, you won't get the you know, music. You will only get the noise. Once you set right ninety-eight point three, you are going to get a melodious music. Right? It's simple. But for friends to become healthy, I say it's not one control. tuning radio mirch is a very easy thing isn't it you just uh, you tune it little error try a trial and error but maybe in few minutes you'll be able to set right but for health i say there are four knobs four controls are there what are the four controls let's go to the back, back to the basics in 30 wellness secrets i'm going to tell you what are the basics so what are the four knobs the problem is all the four knobs have to be simultaneously be tuned and probably at one particular frequency only you have a great health what is great health you are your weight is normal as per height and your waist size is half of height your in, uh, in height in inches you are not having any blood pressure you are not on any medication Let's assume that you have not checked any blood test. We don't know what is happening inside. Okay, okay. To to know better, you have to get the blood test done and check your, uh, you know, thyroid level. Check your, uh, you know, H B A one C levels. Check your, you know, lipid levels and then D vitamin B twelve all that. So let's assume that you are reasonably healthy. So there are four knobs which you have to tune. What are the friends? the first is digestion absorption and elimination so whatever you eat it should be digested properly and you should be able to absorb the nutrients and whatever the waste material must be removed so this is one system which uh, we have to tune it now the question is again what type of food you are eating are you giving nutrients or are you giving toxins see what is not required you are giving it is going to create trouble to you later so are you giving the right nutrients are you are not giving any nutrients at all so the body will work 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 so this is one knob which you will have to learn how to tune it what is the second knob second knob is uh, how many times in your body the sugar spikes are happening what is the sugar spike when the sugar spike happens whenever you eat food remember friend other than water anything else you put in your mouth is food so you eat food or you take a coffee or you take a cool drink or you eat a small piece of prasadam it requires digestion and then once that is done there is a sugar spike in the body in the blood so the question is how many times your sugar is spiking in a day So suppose you are eating, uh, say, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then around ten, ten thirty, one coffee, and then evening maybe four, four o'clock, some coffee and snacks. So what you have done, you have taken five times. So eating five times means there is a five times sugar hike. Now the second question is, how fast and to what level the sugar rises is another important aspect. How do we know that? Suppose you eat an ice cream. is a high processed food high carb food what happens see generally human body when you are fasting more the sugar levels are maintained between 70 to 100 let's say your fasting sugar is 80 you had a ice cream let's say have you have an ice cream with a sweet the sugar will jump from 80 to probably it all depends again on the person's metabolic health let's say you is going to 200 and within about half an hour 40 minutes again it will crash us back to 60 70 right so the question is how fast it has gone up and of coming back is not in your hands see you are only at the input level you can eat and then you can drink but inside you friend 
God is residing and he is trying to manage all our nonsense. So many times you eat high carb food and the sugar levels are low. That time suppose you check after two hours. Let's say you are a healthy guy, you have no problem. You ate uh, two ice creams with a gulab jamun also. Suppose you check your fasting sugar is say 80, 90 and after two hours you see it surprising it be below 120, maybe 110 or so. That's how generally the human body works. That's what God is doing inside. So the second point what we have discussed, how, how, what levels the sugar is going, how fast it is going. Suppose you eat, uh, say for example, eggs, four eggs you ate. So suppose your fasting sugar is uh, 80. When you eat eggs, maybe you see after uh, 10 minutes you see your sugar level is maybe 85 only. Maybe after one hour you see it's only around 110 or so. After two hours it back to about 90. So that means what? Good protein will not raise the sugar to that level and so fast. Fat will take long time. So the second question is what type of food you are eating? So that determines the insulin number one. Spikes, number of spikes is dependent on number of times you are eating. And what level it is going, how fast it is going, depends on what type of food you are eating. Suppose if you are eating high carb food, processed foods, you know, ultra processed foods, hmm, what will happen? It will spike very fast. That is the second point. And again, the nutrition also play a very important role here. We discussed in the digestive system about the nutrition and toxins. Same thing happens, see, the liver to a large extent will clear all the toxins for many, many years. We continue knowingly or unknowingly do these mistakes, so that's how we get into trouble. So we looked at it, the first point is digestion, absorption and elimination, removal of the waste. We will discuss this separately. The second point what we have discussed now, the sugar hikes. Number of hikes we have already looked at it, how fast it is going up and return is not in your hands. Your body is doing that mechanism. The third is you have a human body has more than or 300 joints, I don't know, and the 600 muscles are there. So the flexibility, if you are not using those you know joints and those muscles, what would happen? You will become stiff. And to what level you are giving physical exercise to the body. And also rest. Are you giving rest? Seven hours night sleep you are doing. It's another aspect in the body. So this is the third knob. So one knob is digestion, absorption, elimination. Second knob is how many times the sugar is going up and down in a day? Five times, six times. And how fast it is going up, what level it is going up is the second knob. So two knobs you have in hand. Third knob is, as I talked to you, is the exercise. And then what sort of rest you are giving. This is the third knob. The fourth knob, what is the fourth knob, friend? It is the anxiety, stress and mind management. So in the in other animal kingdom, this fourth knob is not there. Only three knobs are there. The fourth knob, fourth control, I could say, is your mind management. See, all are interlinked, friend. See, don't think that each and is separate. So, once you manage uh, your ma mind management, anxiety, stress, it is one particular knob. So, how effectively you are putting those knob uh, in a correct frequency? Now, this is a big challenge. This requires a skill. This requires, you know, your knowledge. This requires your discipline. This requires your fundamental understanding. So now you have four knobs, friends. Now your your talent lies in how you are able to put all these four knobs in a right you know frequency, so that you have a overall health. Even one knob, say for example, everything is perfect, hunky and dory. You don't know how to manage your mind. So that knob you are not knowing how to tune it. It will affect your health. Similarly. Uh, elimination, absorption is not happening properly. So that what could now will make a huge difference in your health. So all the four knobs you have to tune. 
then only you will be able to enjoy a great health frame. So what it requires? It requires your right knowledge and discipline friends. Friends, my name is Gangeshwar Rao. You can watch my videos in YouTube channel, Wellness Secrets. And there are many videos. I want you to spend time, rebrush your fundamentals. So tuning radio myth is very easy. Tuning your health is definitely easy once you understand. See, once you understand how to adjust these four knobs, at the earlier I did not know there were four knobs, four controls. Okay, a lot of people think, oh, I am doing dieting. So, they are focused only on one particular control. Somebody says, sir, I joined gym, I go in games and all that. So, one knob only, they are trying to tune it properly. Third person says, I have joined, uh, sir, yoga, I am doing meditation and all that. So friends, all the four knobs require a proper tuning to become healthy. Thank you very much for listening. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, share to your friends. Thank you very much.